Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Apple Watch for the first time. Now if you missed any of the previous videos or want to learn more tips and tricks about the Apple Watch, there's a link in the description with the full series. Now before we get started, there are a few things that we need to go through. First off, you need to make sure that your iPhone is running iOS 8.3 or above. That way you get the Apple Watch application. So if you haven't done that, go into your settings on your iPhone and go and update to the latest firmware. Once you've done that, make sure your Apple Watch is turned on and it'll take you to this page if you haven't set it up already. And what you want to do is simply select your language. So I went ahead and selected English there. And right now it says open the Apple Watch app on your iPhone and tap start pairing. So we'll do that. We'll open it up here. You also want to make sure you have Bluetooth enabled. So we'll go ahead and turn that on as well. We'll tap start pairing. For the next step, what you want to do is tap start pairing on the Apple Watch. And then as it's opening up, you want to hold your iPhone over the Apple Watch and get the Apple Watch in the square. Once it's done that, it'll start pairing and you can tap set up Apple Watch. Next, you want to go ahead and choose the wrist. So either left or right. I'll be using this on my left wrist. And in the background, you can see the Apple Watch is sort of in that screen. From here, we want to tap agree. And then we tap agree again. You then want to enter in your Apple ID and tap next. Next from here, you just go ahead and tap OK. You can read through this what this all is. Siri, it's going to explain it to you how it works. Tap OK again. This next step is diagnostics. I usually select don't send. You can choose to send that. It's up to you. And you can create a passcode here for your Apple Watch. Now this step actually happens on the Apple Watch so we can bring it back out here and actually work on the watch itself. So we'll go ahead and enter in a passcode, something that uh, people won't know. So that's why I use 5555, right? Because that's very secure. Enter it in twice. Once you've done that, it says, do you want to unlock Apple Watch with your iPhone? We can say yes if you want. You can say no if you want. If you choose this option, unlocking your phone will also unlock your Apple Watch as long as you're wearing it. So you can choose to do that. I'll just go ahead and say yes. There is ways to turn all of this off later on. So now it's going to give you the option to install all your available applications on your iPhone to the Apple Watch. So if any application from your iPhone can be used on the Apple Watch, you can have it installed and you'll get the Apple Watch version or sort of variation of it. Now I would recommend that you do just to save time because it does take a little bit of time to go through everything. If you don't want to, go ahead and select choose later. Just keep in mind the more apps you have, the longer this process is going to take. So I'm gonna tap install all and then I'll come back to the video. Now during this process, if anything pops up that you don't understand or need help with, feel free to leave a comment in the comment box down below. You'll also notice that this dial has now completed and that was sort of showing you how much time was left. It actually showed you on the Apple Watch as well with the little image so if you take a look at that so it should be done in just a little bit here this didn't take very long for me it's been about five minutes for this process and it looks like we're just about complete now you're all set up and it gives you a little option here now that your Apple Watch is all set up you can control its settings from the Apple Watch app on your iPhone so keep that in mind when you're trying to do different things later on so there you go your Apple Watch is all set up now you can play around with it you can use it any way you want pretty much and do what you would like with it now this passcode thing, I'm already finding a little bit annoying here, just for the fact that I have to enter it in on my watch. So once again, if you guys wanna learn more about the Apple Watch, learn some cool tips and tricks on how to use it and what you can do with the Apple Watch, there is a link in the description down below. I'll be showing you everything you would need to know. If you like this video, found it useful and helpful, subscribe and hit the like button and also share it with your friends on social media, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you'd like. It definitely helps me out and helps out my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.